In a river older than memory, something surfaces. A slow, deliberate inhale. An eye like polished stone, watching me as if I'm the visitor. That's the Arapaima. It's not just a fish. It's a relic that refused to stay in the past. Scales like armor. A body like a living ore. Lungs that drink air as easily as water. Every 15 minutes or so, it rises quietly like time itself taking a breath. I'm drawn to it because it's a paradox. Ancient, yet engineered for now. Heavy, yet elegant. Fearsome, but calm. In a world of noise, the Arapaima is composed. Its scales deflect piranha teeth. Its tongue can crush prey. But it hunts with patience, not panic. When it exhales, you hear a soft whoomph across the water like a page turning in a very old book. Here's the wonder. It breathes our air. It meets us at the surface, our world touching theirs in a single shared gulp. That moment feels like a handshake between centuries. People built myths around creatures like this because they behave like symbols. Strength without frenzy. Balance without stillness. Endurance without stubbornness. The Arapaima has survived because it learned when to rise and when to disappear. Modern life loves speed. The Arapaima prefers rhythm. It listens to a clock set by storms. It listens to a clock set by seasons. It listens to a clock set by silence. And somehow it's still here. Proof that old designs can outlast new chaos. Watch it surface at dawn. Mist, a circle of ripples, one breath. You feel smaller and strangely steadier, like the river just lent you its spine. Maybe that's why it captures us. It reminds me that survival isn't just force. It's timing. That strength can be quiet. That the past isn't gone. It's breathing beside us. When the Arapaima rises, I don't just see a fish. I see a bridge, and then another breath.